Okay, welcome back. This is um, Loctiting time. So we're going to put some Loctite on the um, bolts here. Nuts are sitting here, and then we'll uh, screw them down. So I've got a few different options here. We've got quite a, quite a lot of these Loctite uh, gel sticks, which are very good. This is the, uh, the strong uh, grip. So we're just going to put a little dab, as you can see, on the top of these threads here and then as the nut comes back down it will um, it will tighten up so let's just do that again we'll just sort of do them finger tight for the moment go through and do them all back up again I like the gel because it's uh, it's not messy. Uh, just going through now and tightening all the nuts back down finger tight with the uh, Loctite gel on the threads. Gives that an opportunity for that to work its way down before we nip them up. And now we'll do the do these ones but these might be a little bit difficult I think because ah uh, yes of course so we might have to stand I'll, I'll come back in a sec with this one okay and now for the uh, small small ones here the small bolts let's put a little bit of this stuff on here like so Okay, now then we need to put a washer on each of them. This is where things can get a little bit messy. And then again just start the start the nut. Next one. Like so. And then, oh, lucky last. Okay, so now we'll just nip those up to the correct torque settings uh, for both the upper and the lower here. I'll I'll do that, and then I'll come back and we'll glue the the tweeters in. Okay, everybody, we'll do up some bolts now. So um, just have a a torx bit there, which I'll I'll place into the head of the bolt here and then over socket on the other side then we'll just do these up till we feel they're snug and they're making a nice connection same here I've done that one up now this one got a nice snug fit everywhere down here okay Tightening up nicely, one here. Careful what we're doing here to make sure we place these. And just go around and check them all again and just make sure they're all, all done up very tightly. I've got a lovely, very dense, very strong baffle in which to mount these drivers to, which will make all the difference sonically as well when we uh, have a chance to have a listen to them. Okay, so they're nice and tight. So now I'll change the bit over to the small one. Different socket. And we'll move up to the uh, upper mid-range. So again, just place the... Just making sure nothing moves. Nice snug fit. 
I just usually cross them over. So if I do the opposing side as the next one on four, just to spread the weight nice and evenly, and then we go the other the other cross hatch if you like from the top to the bottom, just to make sure that we're spreading the load out across the driver onto the baffle evenly. Now they've all, as I said, they've all got Loctite in on their threads. So we'll just check them all one more time and make sure we're happy with the, the tightness of everything. And then they're all, all the drivers are tightened up. And that is pretty good. So next thing to do is to um, silicon the tweeters into place then tape them up and then we'll let them sit out there and have a dry out uh, in the in the uh, warm area out the back there for a little while and then we're basically done here we just have to put a distribution block onto these wires here and then the, the other wires come up which I'll show you in a minute what I've done with the bridges and then um, running the same wire through and then uh, we're almost there we're just about ready to have them make some, some noise and see what they sound like. Okay, so we've just got some good old fashioned uh, silicon here. And what we'll do is we'll put a dob on the uh, center inside the, the back baffle block off. Now I'm not sure if you can see that from here. We'll put another corresponding dollop around the inside of the tweeter here, just so that they marry up be good and then we'll just put a nice little smear along the edge here and, and a little bit along here too don't need much here just a little bit and then we'll plonk that down there and just tuck the wires out of the road I suppose it's not really going to matter too much if we if we uh, get them caught up here but we'd rather not if we can help it and then we'll just sit that in place and it should seat very nicely. I feel like it is. So, we might just, uh, not very much popping through here, just a tiny little bit there and here. And then um, what I will do is, uh, I've got to get some of these little alcohol swabs which come in very handy and I'll just rub that alcohol swab around the edge here just to make sure we've got no nothing coming through no silicon um, coming through after we've seated the the, the tweeter in place uh, we'll just plonk some some masking tape across the, the surface press down there like so and then we might get another piece now as we're waiting for everything to dry and we'll just put another piece across the top here just to make sure that they stay in place and they don't move around while they're going off and then essentially we'll do the reverse to the back tweeter and then uh, we're pretty much done okay everybody so um, I'm in the process now of oiling all the panzer halts on the uh, top baffles I'm using a um, I'm using this this particular um, oil, which I'm applying with a microfiber cloth. Now I'm two coats into the uh, this process now of uh, of essentially um, you know putting coats of this oil you know both in inside around the outside. Um, you know, on the bottoms of and, and around the sides of the uh, the baffles. So I'm going to put a third one on now. There'll probably be four going on here by the time all this is finished. So um, I'm in the, as I said, I'm in the process of of uh, of doing this now, and uh, we won't be too far away from getting these back in the room uh, once all this oil dries, which takes um, around eight hours between coats. So that's where we're at at the moment. 
Uh, stay tuned and I'll put a coat on in front of the camera for you to watch. Okay, so here we go. We'll give this, um, this oil a good shake up. Take the lid off. So here's our microfiber cloth. So I'm going to get a bit of a soak on the uh, on the. And I'll do this bit away from the camera. I can't sort of. I'm here on my own, so I can't sort of move the camera around and uh, and show you. But but. Um, it's just a matter of rubbing this into the Panzerholz. You can see that it's, um, you know, with every coat that's going on these, the gloss level is um, deepening and the colour is getting richer and richer. And uh, it's looking very nice. So we literally hold the wiring out of the way and we get in on all of the surfaces here. So that we've got a good... Uh, a good coverage of the oil over the whole form of the uh, Panzerholz. Everywhere we want to be, we will um, we'll cover. We'll place it around the around the edges of the of the baffle up through here, around and down this side. And as I said, with every coat of this that we're putting on. Um, it's just deepening the colour and lifting the gloss level of the of the uh, Panzerholz. Now, pick this up. This is difficult to do with one hand, and then you can place a place some under here in this section, which I hope you guys can see me doing. This is the actual part right in here that you actually see so it's important to get a good coverage on on all of it for that matter but um, oh certainly on uh, on that area and then um, with the excess I have left on the on the cloth I'm, I'm even putting a third coat now on the in, inside of the of the Panzerholz in here which won't really be seen but I'm just a stickler for making sure we get it all perfect so that there's no difference in what we see, what Paul will see, even though you really don't see this only when you're gaining access to the, uh, the wiring here. But putting a coat back inside this area here is um, just satisfies my um, <laughs> quest for perfection, I guess. So that we uh, we get a, a nice even coat. So there we go. That's uh, that's the coat on this one. I'll do the second one now off camera. Uh, we'll give this uh, some time to dry, and then uh, we'll put a last the last coat on here, and then um, you'll I'll pan around and show you once everything's dried up and ready to go.